What's good, y'all? Dr. Chahana. Because we was taught all this time, hey, you need to watch your salt intake, or hey, too much sodium is gonna cause your blood pressure to rise. Now a lot of people's afraid to salt their food. And now you're over here thinking, that means when I decide to diet, I have to suffer, because I have to eat everything bland. That's not the case. On this video, I'm gonna go ahead and provide to you a little bit more context, that way you can make better decisions. And why you even heard in the first place that too much salt, or salt itself, causes high blood pressure, all right? Hey guys, my name is Michelle Anita. So first things first, naturally, what do salt do? Salt or sodium makes your body or anything retain water. Here's the theory behind it. If you got plasma in your um, blood, and your body has enough salt in it, it's gonna make your body retain more water than it has to, right? If your body's retaining more water than it has to, then in theory, make your blood vessels work harder. There's more flow that's happening inside your body is gonna actually raise your blood pressure because it's more fluid overall inside your body. Simple. Now, if a doctor says, if I just tell this person to eat less salt, then your blood pressure is gonna drop. Is there any truth to that statement? Yes, of course. But is that the underlying root cause as to why an individual might have high blood pressure? No. Let me explain to you why. Let's say you decide to eat something sugary or something real carb-based. Let's say a starch. Let's say fries. Let's say oatmeal. All the things that I said is going to make your body excrete something called insulin. So when you give your body any type of carbohydrate, it could be a broccoli, two rice, your body's gonna produce something called insulin, okay? What insulin does, burns this glucose and shovels it to where it needs to be, into your cells, into your muscle tissue, to adipose tissue, etc. When insulin is excreted inside your body, there's another endocrine hormone called aldosterone that's being excreted as well. They work hand in hand. And what aldosterone does, it helps your body retain Sodium. Let's say you have something salty. Now that's gonna raise your blood pressure acutely. Let's say you have something starchy. It's gonna chronically raise your blood pressure because of what it's making your kidneys do, release a hormone called aldosterone. Your body retain more sodium. If you're somebody who's on a diet and you have to watch out for your blood pressure, the main things that you really gotta pay attention to is where your carbs is coming from because you don't want your insulin spike to be as high. And nine times out of 10, if you're somebody that's already dealing with high blood pressure or you're at risk of having high blood pressure, that means you're also somebody who might be on the verge of metabolic syndrome or pre-diabetic. And if you're pre-diabetic, that means you're not supposed to be having a whole lot of starches anyways, you know? So if you're out here preparing your own food and you're salting your food to taste, Believe it or not, if something's too salty, you're naturally not gonna wanna eat it. What you really need to pay attention to is when you're going out and about and you're having these processed foods. You're going to Five Guys and having them salty A fries that we all know is probably the saltiest fries on earth. But here's the thing, you're not just having one fry, you're having a whole bag. They give you about three bags worth of fries, right? They give you a brown paper bag like they sell drugs and they give you fries. And that brown paper bag is about five pounds of fries. And you over here just digging in, eating it while you driving home, right? Or when we go to that Mexican restaurant, what's the very first thing they give to you at the Mexican restaurant? They give you queso and salsa, right? Or they give you chips and salsa. And now you go into town with your chips and salsa, right? But these chips are salty as hell. Those are the things you need to pay attention to. If you're preparing your own meals, you're good. If you're going to a restaurant, that's what you need to pay attention to when it comes to the sodium intake. Ironically, majority of people nowadays don't even get majority of the food from home. They're having the food already prepared for them from a company, such as Frozen Meals, such as Hungry Man, such as we grew up seeing Kids Cuisine, Lunchables, McDonald's, Burger King. You're going to fast food restaurants, their food is gonna be loaded with sodium. If you cut that out, you don't really have to worry about high blood pressure and when it comes to you salting food. That never happens. Is you having a lot of processed foods that has a whole lot of sodium in it or preservatives in it, that way when you decide to pick it up and take it off the shelf, it's still edible. And one thing you're gonna realize is the foods that are very salty just so happen to be the foods 
that also has a lot of glucose or carbohydrates in them as well. Nine times out of ten process. Cool? Hopefully y'all learned something today. That's your reset tip of the day. It's gonna have you say snatch all the time. No, summertime. Talk to you soon.